Returning to our coverage of the death of NBA star Kobe Bryant, one of nine people killed when their helicopter went down yesterday morning. Right now, a team of investigators is trying to understand just what went wrong. Today, I talked to Augustine Joseph, the founder and CEO of Advanced International Aviation Academy here in Sacramento. He has over 30 years of aviation experience flying both planes and helicopters. He says the weather definitely appears to be a factor, but emphasized how experienced that pilot actually was. He also says at this point, there are many possibilities. It could be multiple reasons. Yeah, it could be a mechanical failure. It could be uh, the pilot getting disoriented. It could be anything and you are flying in low uh, ceiling condition, low weather condition. If you listen to his last few uh, radio calls, you can make out the voice is not comfortable. Augustine emphasized that it's important not to speculate at this time, though he acknowledged that regardless of the pilot's experience, any number of factors could have come into play at the time of that crash. We've also been looking into the background of the helicopter that crashed. It's called a Sikorsky S-76, and this is what that kind of chopper looks like. They've been flying since 1976. The company says it has more than 7.4 million hours of safe, successful flight. NTSB records say the last time this kind of S-76 crashed was in 2012, but no one died. FAA records show there are only five of this kind of helicopter registered in California. Of course, we're going to keep looking into this story and we'll let you know just as soon as we get information from investigators. Our coverage remembering Kobe Bryant continues tonight at 11 on Late News Tonight, anytime on ABC10.com and on our ABC10 app.